it's Anya here I'm back with another video for Ophelia crafts so today in this video we are making the wild rose uh, this is um, again uh, large and small petals a middle with a button and one of those thingy bobs the stems uh, that go in the middle so we need for this eight small petals and we need eight large petals Again, these petals have that little cut in the middle, so we are going to just gently glue them together like that. I have done most of them because, I mean, by now you will know, there goes the microwave. I'm doing dinner as well. No, actually, no, I'm not. My husband's doing the dinner while I'm doing this. <laughs> I put the chicken in the oven and he's finishing it off. So, <clears throat> there we go. Um... Yes, we all have to have food, of course. We can't just keep crafting. I wish I could. We get hungry at one point anyway. So, there we are. That's the petals done. Uh, these petals I have coloured in Calypso Coral. No, yeah, Calypso Coral. So there is a little bit of difference. I like it. I like the Calypso Coral. I like it. I wish I'd done these in Calypso Coral now, but never mind. That's okay. We want to... Not all flowers have the same colours. So there we go. That's our petals ready. Um, we also need to do our button. So again, we're doing it the same way as we did with the pansies. Just make some sort of circle. Press it down. Like that. See, so that's sort of a, a circular shape. And then bend it so that when your stem is upright your circular shape is horizontal if you see what i mean yeah and then we are going to put hot glue onto that little shelf and then we put a button I've, i'm just using any old buttons here this is one from my sewing stash didn't seem to belong with anything so i thought i would use it now you really really don't need a lot of paper here um, I've been cutting them smaller and smaller as I as I went throughout my flowers because you don't want all the paper at the bottom you want it to be as, as, as thin as possible so I put a little bit of hot glue onto the middle of the paper and then I put my bottom on there so that it actually it just stays there then you fold your paper around, make sure, making sure that you don't tear the paper around the edge of the button. Just like that. And that's plenty. Okay. So then we have a length of floral wire. And you need to attach that with hot glue because it just it's not sticky. I don't know whether it's just me. Again, this floral wire, wire I got that off Amazon. So just look for any um, you know, floral suppliers, basically. they um, There's loads of them, all different prices. And you just twist it round. It's stretchy, so... It's not going to look that pretty from underneath, but it's fine. You won't see it once the flower is done. this is not completely in so we're going to just put some hot glue on there and then push it in like that and that's okay because nobody's going to look underneath all right so then oh, I think I'll have to put some hot glue on this floral tape just trying to put a tiny tiny amount there we go, so it stays where it's supposed to stay. Then you get these and you're just gently going to bend the stems like this. So it comes up and then this one the same way. All right, so they stand up a little bit so you get a little bit of dimension. Very gently because they do tear easily. And then you put them, one with the stems up, and the next one with the stems down. So you have this sort of dimension going on. 
and again some hot glue in between some hot glue underneath and hopefully if you then push it like that it'll just stay where it is supposed to there we go now the button is not quite in the middle but that doesn't matter all that much in the once you've got all your flour done it's fine okay let's get rid of some of this thingy bobs on my fingers <laughs> and now it's time to start gluing on our first small petals so a little bit of glue onto the petal and onto the bottom of your flower stems there just like that okay and then the next one a little bit of glue and we put it right there on the opposite side and the same thing again a little bit of glue and we put them in between this time you do need a hot glue gun for this so hopefully you'll have one most crafters do I think and there we go and then we do the second layer but we do them offset so we put them in between these see so that they're in between the thing and then you just continue on putting them in between now if you want a bigger flower you can come out with your petals from here if you want your flower to be more open so to speak you just put them further away from the stem where are we? here oh, I think I put that in the wrong place then Yes, that should have been here. So this one, let's see if we can take it off again. Yep, it came off. That's good. More hot glue. Let's see where it's supposed to go. Yes, somewhere here. See, so now we have two rows of petals. And now we go on to the bigger ones. And again, we're putting them in between. And I don't know whether you can notice, but I'm just going very, very slightly away from the stem. So I'm, I'm putting it like maybe half a centimetre away from the stem there. Two eighths of an inch, I think. No, four eighths of an inch, I think. See? And opposite. So I'm not putting it against the stem. I'm putting it away. And that will make my flower bigger. Oh, this is handy. So first you put four four petals you put down and then you put them in between and I think the oven has been turned off so our dinner will be ready and my flour is also almost ready so there we go <clears throat> now we push it down a bit see this makes the flour stand out wider so it's more sort of more wider obviously hmm the brain doesn't really work when you're filming you try to come up with these witty things to say but okay so there we go now you can slightly move the button there we go um to make it sort of a little bit more in the middle but yes so um Hmm, look at that they're both about the same apart from the color I like the color I like the cal calypso coral I think it's nice so I hope you enjoyed um, this series of uh, flower making and um, yeah do come back for more there might be just a few more videos on this thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next time bye